I did not want to do Taekwondo. That was the one thing I didn't want to do. Um, like most people, as a kid, I did Judo. Um, then, of course, Karate. My, my father has uh, 12 brothers and sisters. And they're all uh, one of three things. My father was a, was a, a wonderful boxer. Um, and they asked him to go pro um, back, in the, uh, back in the early 60s. The late 50s, I beg your pardon. Um, he didn't do that. His father wouldn't give him the permission. He was a young man at the time. So it was off to the pit from my father. Um, but his brothers and sisters were uh, mainly, mainly karate and a, and a couple of judo. So taekwondo in the 80s was a no-no. It was, it was nothing more than a, than a lightweight karate. as how it was viewed. Unfortunately, it's getting viewed that way again, but that's a separate issue just now. Maybe it's not a separate issue, but we'll maybe come back to that. Um, so really, it was karate. So I went to karate. I did Waduru, I did Wadokai, I did Shokokai. However, um, my two of my uncles, given my father's big family, two of my uncles who were only a couple of years older than me, just brought Bruce Lee to me. So I remember seeing clips from Enter the Dragon and, and Way of the Dragon. And it was Dragon whips its tail. It was the reverse turning kick that catches the guy in the head. And all the karate I went to, no one could kick like that. So I had to find something that would excite me like that. And eventually, I saw this advert, and it was Taekwondo Tom packs real punch. It wasn't a good photograph. It was like this. And I remember saying, this is Grandmaster McCann I'm talking about here, so please, you know. Oh, that guy's useless. That's just Taekwondo, and that's, that's, that's weak. But eventually I went to it, and I went in. It was Grandmaster McCallum's club. It was 1981 in Bathgate, which was about eight miles from me. It took over an hour to get there in the bus. And uh, it was Grandmaster Sullivan taking the classes. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord, she blew us away. She blew us away. You know what blew me away? And Pamel Mackies, three and Pamel Mackies. And she just generated such massive energy and power in this. Then watching her throw these techniques and everything was so powerful. I didn't even think this was only a, a lady at barely, she wasn't even five feet tall, for goodness sake. I'd been to all these karate classes, judo classes, then a little bit of boxing stuff, and this just blew me away. Um, and from there, my friend, I was hooked. I was absolutely hooked. Yeah. yeah, and that was it. From that point forward, Taekwondo has been everything to me, and it still is today. You know, well, first day, first day you knew that this was going to be. You got what you, you know wanted. You got. You, you got. Know what I, was I was only afraid that I wasn't good enough, and I couldn't. I couldn't make it. That's the only thing. That was the thing that scared the hell out of me. It took me three goals to go through the door in Bathgate. It was a solid door. Um, you see behind me glass doors here. This is this is our second door giant that we've built in memory of Grandmaster Sullen. We lost in 2019, God rest her. She's on the wall. You can maybe see her back here on the wall here. Yeah. Um, it took me three goals to go through the door. It was a solid door. That's why we have glass doors here all the time. It took me three weeks. Came back each week. And eventually, I burst open through the door. And everyone stopped and looked at me. And you could have swallowed me up. I was 17 years old. I was painfully shy. And my friend, I was just so afraid that I wouldn't be able to make it. And that fear has never really left me. It's why I ended up training as hard and as dedicated as it became, because it was an inbuilt fear that I wouldn't be good enough. And from that point forward, I thought, if I train twice as hard as everybody else, if I train three times as hard as everybody else, then hopefully I can make it one day. Um, from 40 years ago to today, I train every day. I train every day. The fear, maybe the fear, obviously the fear has, um, has evolved. I've become empowered more over the years. But still, there's that little boy inside me still that goes, hey, you've got to keep going. If you don't keep going, you'll lose it. You know? So um, it's my passion, it's what I love. Uh, and watching young men like you coming through and your instructor, for example, I believe your instructor is, um, is Mr. Byrne, is that correct? Yeah, spot on, yeah. Uh, what a wonderful, wonderful guy and a, and a credit to ITF Taekwondo. So watching you guys develop over the years has given me such a thrill, you know. So, hey, we're blessed, my friend. We're an incredible martial art with incredible people in our ITF family and beyond. So, um, hey, it's nothing but uh, great stuff. I'm just yeah. thrilled to be part of it.